uh, thank you, Justin, <laughs> for, for the horror game. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Jiang Kuo. Uh, I'm a game develop developer uh, from Vito Technology. Uh, so I, I'm a, I, after I graduated from NUS, I, I, I went to a company called SGI, Serious Game International. So and Chris is my ex-colleague from, yeah. Then after that, I, I, after three years of uh, game development, uh, yeah. I start this uh, Vito uh, uh, technology uh, doing a VR educational game. So uh, at the beginning, it's uh, just an a, a indie game project. Uh, my friend, uh, Shao Huan, uh, he has a, a, a Oculus DK2. So he, one day, he come and ask me to, uh, hey, Jackie, do, do, do you know how to build a, a, a VR game? So I, 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 I say, uh, I don't know what's the difference between VR game and normal game. So I, I, I'm willing to try. So yeah, so I start this uh, game. So, and we need to pick a topic. So <coughs> Shao Huan also very interested in, in a horror game. But uh, personally, I think it's too, uh, it's a bad e experience because the developer is me. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I reject it. So I, I said, uh, how about we, we make some uh, uh, interesting game? Um, it's, a, it's, uh, it's a game at first, and it's, uh, it's a fun game, but uh, there's also extra meaning to it. So maybe we can introduce uh, education in, in, into the, this game. So we start the project. So. So this is our concept design. I asked for my friend. He's a, a, a concept artist from Zelo Digital. Uh, so he draws the. So uh, yeah, we choose the topic is uh, Arctic. So it's uh, called uh, Project Arctic. So this is the uh, environment uh, concept design. And uh, this is our character. So it's, he, he's called Vito. And uh, uh, we draw this uh, set from view of this, uh, just like normal game development. And uh, we, we uh, invented uh, a flying machine to it, and using some uh, elements from the uh, matrix. So if you, you can recognize. So uh, this is a 3D model. So Vito is an invader from Kepler 452b. So it's uh, another planet. And uh, yeah, there's a, a story behind it. So this is our project Arctic. Um, you can uh, follow this uh, Vito and uh, explore the Arctic region and uh, learn interesting facts uh, about Greenland. And uh, you can experience a, a walk with the polar bear and the whale under, underneath the sea, sea, sea level. And this is uh, our game demo. So never mind. Hmm? Uh, never mind, it's Chinese. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, the four character here is uh, called your nod to confirm. So you do nod your head. So this is uh, uh, some basic in interaction using uh, Oculus Rift. And this is a time travel scene. So because uh, Vito invent asked the, this uh, character to uh, go and go go outside and explore and collect some stars. Okay, so to, there's no song. Hey. Uh, maybe search for audio. Mm. So, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, put. Okay. Oh. 
So, uh, so actually, uh, Vito is a is a cat. Uh, he will get get through the all the, the entire trip of the, this uh, story, and uh, there there are some some uh, interaction in, interaction with uh, animals. Uh, yeah. So there are two polar bears uh, walking around. You can use uh, your controller to interact with the bears. And there's a seal uh, lying down waiting for be hunted. Yeah, be be because the polar bear is... Uh, yeah. And the polar bear is uh, going to kill this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the seal escaped. <laughs> so yeah. Basically, there there are some uh, uh plot and uh, things happen in inside this uh, uh trip. So it's uh, like a it's a game. There's a storyline and there's a interaction in within. But uh, the Vito will keep uh, Vito is a knowledge 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 uh, source from the uh, uh, of the player. Okay. And uh, this is uh, uh, some players' reaction while they, they play my game. So this is a teacher from Beijing National Day School. And uh, when, I, I went for a global mobile game conference Beijing to uh, showcase my game. This is my grandmother. Okay. Uh, so uh, okay. Uh, actually, I, I after I finished the, the game, I went for China to look for uh, investor, or I, I tried to join the VR co community uh, in, in China. Hey, sorry. Hey. Hey. And uh, I actually, I found uh, this uh, in China. There's a uh, quite a big market. It's a uh, but uh, this only happened in China. It's uh, called uh, VR arcade. It's a uh, since since uh, uh, the early in 2015. Uh, actually, there are already uh, people building this uh, uh, egg shaped chair uh, using uh, the uh, HMD the VR headset. And they, they just build like this, and they, they go go uh, they set up this uh, shop in in, uh, in the shopping mall, and they start to collect money from the the people. So so it's like a two or two, two to five minutes uh, experience, and they charge the consumer for uh, thirty RMB. So it's a uh, and uh, people are queuing up for try, try this because uh, all the because the people playing the the game scream a lot <laughs> yeah so they, they, they are very curious uh, what's happening inside so actually this is a, a quite a big market because uh, according to uh, some of my uh, 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 my partner they, they, they actually the manufacturer of China version of uh, uh, oculus so they, they, they are going to have a, a 4000 VR arcade in the by the end of uh, 2016. So it's a, a B2B2C model for game developers. So because uh, at the, right now, there are not so many uh, consumers uh, who has a, a VR headset, but there is a market for, for their uh, need. 
And so in China, actually, people explore this uh, possible uh, business model. So they uh, the, they are looking for content providers like uh, like us. And uh, for for our game, right? Because we are educational game, is uh, designed for the kids. And so it's um, uh, actually it's very interesting for for them because uh, most uh, fifty percent of the the player uh, of the the, the VR arcades are, are kids, are children. And uh, so, and we, we can also uh, build our game to different platform and uh, Oculus, HTC, and uh, Gear VR. So this uh, the hardware we are, we are using. Uh, we I, I try to build my game uh, in Oculus, uh, Gear VR, and uh, HTC, and uh, two other China brand. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's uh, there are many cha challenge in. Um, in the development in uh, of a VR game, so one maybe the, the most one uh, I can think about is uh, the motion sickness, uh, because it's for it's an educational game. So I, I don't want the, the children to be uh, dizzy and uh, motion sick when we, 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 well they, they they play for two or three minutes. So uh, and uh, one of the reason is. Uh, uh, is uh, the, uh, the the synchronization of the, the uh, humans uh, 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 sensor in, in the in the ear and uh, it's uh, out of sync with uh, the brain. So uh, basically, this this, this uh, only happens when when you in the game you have some acceleration or de de deceleration or even angular acceleration. So during the design of the game, you try. Um, you should try to avoid this this kind of uh, uh, acceleration, and you, you can keep a, a constant constant high speed. It's okay as long as you don't have a, a acceleration and deceleration. And another challenge will be uh, storytelling because it's uh, in VR, right? A user is uh, can control his uh, uh, view uh, view angle, uh, view direction. You can. Uh, Maybe there's uh, something happen in this this, uh, this uh, direction, but the user will be attracted to another thing. So he, he maybe look look this this side. So uh, the user may miss some important thing stuff. So um, during our game, I we I, I introduce um, something called called uh, you use I I uh, the I set trigger event. So as uh, as long as a uh, user don't. Uh, don't uh, look, look at this direction. This this uh, event won't happen. So something like this. And uh, another challenge will be uh, the the multi platform uh, for because currently the VR is still uh, the hard hardware is still they, they are com the hardware company they are competing each other and there's uh, there are no standard uh, standard uh, platform or SDK for for the, those uh, different hardware. So as long as you want to uh, reach your uh, target audience, you need to try try to uh, uh, compatible with uh, ma as many as uh, hardware as, as possible. So this might be another tr troublesome uh, thing to to deal. And uh, last thing is uh, uh, when you design your con content, you must be you must pay pay extra attention to to it. Because uh, VR is uh, so uh, powerful, and uh, uh, the feeling can be uh, uh, can be uh, enlarged to ten times or uh, hundred times. Uh, for example, the horror, horror horror game. So maybe you can play a horror game and uh, on the computer using two D monitor, but it, it's a di different story in, in inside VR. So uh, when some content. Uh, Happens in in VR, so uh, you need to uh, make sure it's a uh, it's a uh, proper content, especially if uh, we are we are designing the content for the kids. Uh, there might may be some uh, if effect when if uh, it's a uh, improper uh, content is a is a exposed to to the to, to the audience. For example, just now, if the polar bear kill this uh, seal, <laughs> so uh, and uh, the kids will, I, I think he, he, he yeah, he, he will have, have some uh, uh, personal uh, feelings. So something like that. 
So uh, that's all. That's uh, all I want to share. So we are we are Vito Education Group. Thank you. Why is the aircon not work? <laughs> so, um, most of us won't be familiar with like the China VR HMDs, right? So I just wanted uh, some feedback and opinion. You know, uh, how is the quality? You know, how do they compare to like the Oculus or the Vive? Uh, okay, uh, that's a good question. Uh, because you can um, currently the quality of the China brand uh, VR headset or VR head hardware. Um, Personally, I think they are not as uh, good as uh, Oculus, HTC Vive, and uh, PlayStation VR. But it's, um, it's a, they are trading, trading uh, uh, closely behind this uh, this tree, uh, the most advanced uh, VR headset. And uh, some of them are uh, doing very well. They they through the different direction. Maybe they, they, they their uh, monitor is uh, uh, are more clear clearer than than those uh, tree. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, frankly, in the it is uh, still the, the, the best is uh, HTC Vive and uh, Oculus and PlayStation VR. But uh, in, you, you can see the mobile industry. So, but th th there's uh, always the market for, for it because in China the, the China mobile smartphone are very cheap. They, they are not as good as uh, maybe iPhone or, or uh, uh, yeah iPhone. Yeah, so, okay, so but there's still market because they are cheap and they are good for the uh, people in China or in the, uh, for other countries, they, they are afford to buy this uh, VR headset or smartphone. So, I think there's uh, still a market for, for it. Hi. Uh, you mentioned trying to join like the VR community in China, right? So, what challenges do you have in trying to get investors? Because, you know, it's a market that's like ever since jump the people. So like, you get to stand out. Uh, okay. So it's uh, you 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 mean the, the like what challenges do you have in trying to get investors in such a saturated market? Um, okay. So actually, uh, frankly, uh, in, in, uh, if you want to get an uh, investor, you, you are doing VR game is uh, actually it's not very difficult in, in currently, uh, especially in China. Um, VR is very hot topic. It's uh, even hotter than the Western U US. And uh, actually, many investors are looking for good content providers. Um, and uh, for me, I, I just uh, uh, maybe I, I participate some uh, VR contest in China, and uh, there are investors looking for for me. Yeah. Hi. Yes. How are you doing? Oh, do you see a growing B two C market for VR in China? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, B B two C market. Uh, what what do you mean B B two C? Business to consumer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Consumer. So selling directly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Uh, so um, I there there's still uh, pers uh for my personal opinion, uh, there's still a long way to go because uh, uh most of uh, consu uh most people in China they are still not is they are still unaware of uh, this VR. They, they are. Just uh, seeing the young young people playing this VR arcade on, on the street on, in the shopping mall, they are not uh, very uh, familiar, and uh, they, it, it, so there's still a long long way to go, maybe two or three years. But uh, I think this uh, offline experience will uh, make sure this will happen uh, sooner and and sooner because uh, most many people will, will see know what what's VR because of this offline ex uh, store. Of content that you see in China as a trend, something that people are trying to move into. Okay, general. Uh, <laughs> no, point is not allowed in China. <laughs> so, yeah. See, first of all, they already decide that's not a problem. You make your own home behind that door. General. Uh, Uh, per, uh, I still uh, I didn't find, find uh, I didn't notice some uh, particular genre is uh, better than the uh, other genre because uh, may maybe uh, FPS uh, because it's uh, uh, in VR is first person and F FPS is also first person and uh, you has a you have you will have a better experience. 
By better experience, you mean vomiting. Uh, yeah. Uh, if if you if you use uh, some uh, teleportation or, or some uh, the omni the device uh, can can input, yeah, om, omni. Uh, it's okay. Or you can stick the HTC one inside a fence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, 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 that would be another solution. But I thought we already decided porn games didn't work. Okay, any, any other question? Any other questions? No. Okay. Thank you, thank you.